Okay, I made this arch for the gun cabinet, and before I forget how I did it, and I know I'm going to do it differently, however, I'd like to do it again before I forget, uh, learn some tricks or things that probably advanced people know how to do easily in SketchUp, but for a beginner like me, uh, it was kind of cool to uh, make this thing work. Basically, I made this in two halves, and so I'm going to try to recreate it now and hope the first time wasn't just uh, beginner's luck. Alright, I have a 19 and 3 quarter inch long uh, arched rail to a door for a gun cabinet here. And the first thing I think I will do is, let's see here, um, I might even be able to copy some of these curves, but I'd like to try to redraw it myself. Um, let's see. I'm going to go a little bit shorter this time, use a rectangle tool and come out uh, 18 comma 3 fourths and raise that, I believe it was 3 inches so 3 inches and then I drew some tape measure guides half of that is 9 inches so if I go 9 that's good Okay, and then I drew one that I believe it was uh, three inches. So we come over here, three. And then I went another, I believe it was another three inches. Let's get up here, there we go. And these were just kind of to help me figure out my shape. Uh, so I went and used the arc tool and I'm just trying to think here for a second uh, okay and I oh I know what I did I also drew one down an inch and a half on the blue axis 1.5 tape measure tool 1.5 there we go all right, that might help. And now the arc tool. I believe I started by doing something very similar to that. And similar to that. And then I believe I used the move tool to kind of manipulate this. Haven't quite done it. I did before. Control Z. Let's see. There I'm getting it. To do some more styling. Might have even. We can, there we go, that's more what I was doing. Okay. So that's one way you can start playing with your arch to see uh, which form you like. And now we're way past center point, which is okay. Um, I'm just going to start selecting all my pieces here and you see it I can probably delete that part Whoop. I think I'm gonna have to there we go we got it and probably move it up with just a hair um, well it says it's even it looks like it's even, it's just the rendering of that. Right there would be center point. Okay, I could take that. We've already selected it. We could, um, like I did before, we can move this. And copy it.
and flip it. And we're going to flip along. Green didn't work. So we'll flip along red. There we go. Now we're just going to move this one. Hopefully. Control Z. Let's escape out. I know what I didn't do is I didn't group that. I want to group it. Now I can easily move it. Where I would like that. And now I want to um, copy that. And I'm going to Z. What did I do? Sometimes I grab things I don't want to. Okay, now we're in the move tool. Got the option key press. We're moving this. And I want to. There we go. Now I got it flipped. Just gonna place this real quick and then there I grabbed it where I wanted to. Finally. Okay, so that's how I did that portion. I delete all this here. Delete these guidelines now. Okay. All right, it's starting to look better. And now I just have to remember something. I think if I make this a group, I'm trying to remember uh, how I enclose this. Oh, now I have to uh, explode that and explode that. So now. When I click these lines, there's my enclosed shape. I can click. I should be able to just um, in other words, I'm, I'm going to want to push pull this um, out. There we go. Now I think we can do it because now we have a total shape that we can push pull. Whoop. And I remember there was a way I um oh. I did try to uh connect these last time but um I'm not sure if that's what made it work or not. Oh, I see. These aren't touching right here. Okay. So we did have 